Hello, I am Barbara. I'm from Portugal, uh, more specifically Aveiro, which is a smaller town uh, in Portugal. I found out that my university was hosting the, um, the competition for the first time. So I think it was a hell of a coincidence. Uh, I'm really into science communication. It is a decision that has been made. I'm going to be a science communicator. I'm really hopeful on doing that. Uh, but for, I need to do my master's degree. But for now, I really need to finish by my bachelor. Uh, and after that, I'm keen on doing a master's degree in science communication in Lisbon, in Portugal. However, probably I want to do this next year. I'll probably do a gap year to do some other projects and then go on into this journey of science communication for sure. Meeting people from all around is absolutely amazing. I've had this opportunity before through some other projects, but this one is probably the, the only one in which I had the chance to meet people which are studying science, who are studying science. People who study different kinds of fields, mathematics, uh, biology, physics, and the fact that we're from everywhere around the planet just makes it even better because sometimes we think we do things in our country in a way and everyone does it in the same way but that doesn't happen uh, there's this globalization and everyone does some stuff um, in the same way however to discover that we're all so different is perfect and actually really marvelous to see the world in a competition is really cool it's really cool to be a part of that we are more connected than ever through the internet, for example. So more than ever, we really need to be capable of understanding that we are studying topic A, for example, in my country. However, someone is also studying that topic. So we really need to communicate better in order to improve our research. And the planet should really work as a team when it comes to a lot of things, including science research. The most mesmerizing part. Um, I'm talking about a protein that shines, uh, GFP, it's green fluorescent protein, a, a protein that shines a green fluorescent light. And when I learned about this last year in, um, in the subject back in the university, I was fascinated because we can actually see it. And for the first time ever, biology was visible for me. Um, not biology, microbiology, or as you want to say it, tiny stuff, they, they turn out to be visible. And that doesn't happen that often when it comes to science, at least when it comes to biomedicine. You just don't see what's happening only with microscopes. But suddenly with, a GF, with GFP, you don't need a microscope. You can use only your eyes and some UV light and you can actually see what's happening. So I thought, if I am fascinated about this and I am into science, Let's just imagine, what if people knew this? What if people knew that there's this magic protein that shines? The talk I had on the semi-final was about proteins in general. I'm really fascinated about proteins, okay? Uh, it's like my weakness. Um, and I talked about them in general, about their building blocks, which are amino acids. So you put amino acids together and they build proteins. Um, in this talk, I'm going to talk about GFP and how we can use this brilliant protein when it comes to some diseases and I'm talking about specifically about cancer and trying to connect the dots GFP and cancer and let's see how that works.